Good morning, everyone. It's Paul here with Pokey Monstrosity. And as promised, today we're going to get into one of these True Steel Premium Collections. So, without further ado, I see we have the Zacian pin, the Zacian statue, and the Zacian promo in this thing. So, let's go ahead and tear into this thing and see what we have. There are six packs inside of each one. At a price point of $30. You're looking at $5 a pack, but you do get the other little goodies in there too. I really like the fact that they threw in a pack of Burning Shadows in each one. I did like that. I'm just going to get you guys the promo card for this here. There should be one hiding somewhere. Nice little hollow there. So, it does have a little Zacian statue here. It's pretty cool. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And a little pin. Which I don't intend on wearing anywhere, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. And in each one, it looks like there are two packs. Darkness Ablaze. A Cosmic Eclipse. A Sword and Shield. And evolutions and burning shadows. And here's the code card for you guys. Let's get back where we need to be. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and see what the pull rates are like in this thing. See if we can get anything really nice. We'll start with evolutions here. Evolutions should be just three from the back. Trainer, Haunter, there we go, Secret Rear, Flying Pikachu, already, very nice. The Vulpix for the reverse, and a Magneton Hollow, very nice. So, pretty good pack of evolutions there. You'll see no complaints from me. Oh, Magneton, hollow. But the flying Pikachu, secret rare. Very cool, very cool. That's number 110 out of 108. If you guys have never seen that before, it's actually a secret rare. Let's check out Cosmic Eclipse. And some flora for the bear.
Pikachu for the reverse. I'm a Santa Condo. We'll get into, let's see what's in this burning shadows here. This was one of my favorite sets. I'm just gonna throw it out there until I open, you know, a couple thousand dollars worth of cards and didn't pull the Charizard. <laughs> so, me and Burning Shadows go way back. We have a love-hate relationship. Escape Rope for the reverse, and Charizard GX. Wow. So we did get a Charizard out of the Burning Shadows pack. Not the one that we wanted. But I have heard of a lot of people pulling a secret rare Charizard out of these boxes. Sinistee for the reverse and Talonflame for our rear. Sarina and a Swana. So that is all for that box. So a little recap. Uh, we pulled our secret rare, Flying Pikachu, Magneton Hollow, and Charizard GX out of Burning Shadows. So Evolutions was really the winner in that box, I think. Burning Shadows is okay. I did hear of a lot of people pulling that Charizard. Not this one, but the Secret Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows out of that box. I don't know why, if they're trying to introduce more and just, you know, release them through the Super Premium Collection. I'm not sure. But for a $40 price or a $30 price point, hmm, I feel like I might be able to do better. Maybe. But. As promised, the first Japanese card opening on this channel. And we got a Cinescorch artwork on these. These are 2020. I'm not sure the name of the set <laughs> on these. I do like the fact that it does seem to say what their pool rates are directly on the back, which is pretty cool. And I know the quality of these cards are way better than American cards. I don't know the card trick for these, if there is one. I know there's a lot fewer cards in the pack. I think they only get five. Let us see. This is common. You can tell by the little C down bottom. There we go. That is a rare reverse. Looks like Agron, I believe. And an uncommon. So, looks like a card trick might be one from the back of these packs. But, I think the pull rates from these are a lot better. 
but there's only five cards. But as far as quality goes, they're pretty good. I mean, I don't think you're going to see any of them really off center, anything like that. Not too much. They're pretty nice. Sarina. That's Snubble. I think that's Aaron. It is. Pretty certain that's Fletchender. And just an uncommon trainer. So, I don't think you get a rare out of every pack. Wow, that is probably the rarest thing I may have ever heard in my life. Speaking of rare, if you guys could hear that, that is the first time I've ever heard my dog bark. He doesn't bark. That doesn't happen. That's rarer than anything I can pull out of these packs, that's for sure. Diglett. And a magic card. There we go. Senna Scorch. Very cool. start talking about quality and I notice our last card already has a nick right in the back right there hmm <laughs> butterfree v max Japanese very cool It's a Mr. Rhyme. More law. Wow, the reverse Tyranitar. Very cool. So these packs, you don't get a you don't get a reverse out of every pack. You don't get a rare out of every pack. But it seems like the pull rates are a little better. I think, because out of five packs, we pulled a V and a VMAX and two of these reverses, and the reverses, I mean, they kind of look a little bit better than ours. If I'm being honest with you, they kind of do. Hmm. Huh. Well, that is it, guys. Let's do a brief recap. And 
my final plug. Like, subscribe, share. I'd like to do a lot more of these for you guys. Let me know if you like the Japanese opening. I, uh, I have a place I can get quite a few of these now. Here, just one town away. So let me know what you guys think. I really enjoyed it. But uh, as far as the box goes, my final consensus would be I feel like we could probably do better in the world of Pokemon than a Charizard GX, a Flying Pikachu, and a Magneton Hollow for $30. <laughs> so, my final consensus is nay, unless you're really into Zacian and you like little weird statues, I'd say stay away from it. But you guys have a good day. I'll see you again soon.